Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Nick from NickWilt.com, and in today's tutorial we're going to show you how to locate the Windows Spotlight images on your PC. So, chances are if you've used Windows 10 for more than 10 minutes, you're probably already familiar with all of those fancy different lock screen pictures that are given by Windows uh, Spotlight. So as you can see right here, these are a couple of the Spotlight images that I have been given for today, and I'm going to show you how to locate those on your PC so that you can use them individually as desktop backgrounds or to do whatever you want with them. So they are all stored locally on your PC, but they're in a little bit of a different place to get to. So we're just going to delete all of these pictures right here, and I'm going to show you how to find them. So we're going to want to navigate to this file path right here, and I'll make sure to paste this in the video's description. You can either copy this from the description and paste it into Windows Explorer, or we can bring up the run command by pressing the Windows key and R and paste it in here and click on open. And then we're given, uh, we're given access to a folder that looks like this right here, which as you can see, uh oh, is in that same weird directory. And we're given a whole bunch of files that have all of these different numerical values right here. And if we look closely, we can see that they have no file extensions. And believe it or not, these are all of the Windows Spotlight pictures. Now there's a couple different data files right in here that won't actually be image files. And you can tell those apart because the image files are multiple hundreds of kilobytes in size, whereas these data files are something along the lines of two kilobytes. So we're gonna wanna ignore all of these smaller files and just copy the larger ones. So I'm going to take all of them. Oh, I'm going to take all of them, and we're going to copy them. And then on the desktop, for convenience, I'm going to create a new folder, and we're going to call it Windows Spotlights. And we'll just paste those files in there. Now these are all of the images. However, we, as you notice, if I click on them, we still can't open them up. And that's because we need to convert them to JPEGs. Now we could individually click on the files and then rename them by adding a file extension .jpeg at the end of it. But I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way where we can batch convert all of these images to JPEG at the same time using the Windows command prompt. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is in that folder that we pasted all of these files too. We're going to grab the file path and copy it and then we're going to go to the start menu, type in CMD and on the command prompt we're going to right click it and run it as an administrator. Let's click on yes, that'll bring up our command prompt window and as you can see in the administrator command prompt where it says C Windows System 32, I'm just going to type in CD space and then paste in our pathway and that'll bring the pathway down right here. And then we're going to run a specific command, which is going to be ren, so ren space star period space star and then dot jpeg. Now the space right after the period would normally be where a file extension would go, but seeing as these images don't have a file extension, we're just going to leave it as a blank space. We're going to click on enter. And then as you notice, we get image uh, thumbnails in our folder right here. So as we open that up, as you can see, all of these images are now notable JPEG files that we can copy or resize or set as desktop backgrounds or do whatever we want with them. And that's pretty much what you have to do. That's how to find your Windows Spotlight images on your computer. They will still change every day, so if you find a new one that you really like and you want to save, you can just keep on using this technique in order to go back and find them. So I hope you found this useful. I hope this helped you out. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.